proof is right here on my face. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we're doing a wear test. I feel like I haven't done one of these for you guys in a while. And we are going to show the JCAT Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation. This is what I have on my face right now. I am going to do a full day. I'm going to work out. So we are going to put this through a true test, not just sitting at home, not doing anything. So before we get into the video, if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe and join the family. So please click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it is mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you want to see how I got this look and see how this foundation wears, probably going to be a 12 hour wear test guys. So if you want to see how it looks at the end of the day, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, guys, so we're going to jump straight into the foundation review. Now I do have a confession. I have worn this already. I don't have the box because I've worn this a few times. As you can see, it does have the little air pump dispenser and she's up here. So we have worn this a few times and I wanted to show you guys how it wears because I like to use a lot of high end foundations, but there are a lot of good affordable options at the drugstore and this is one of them. So spoiler alert, I do like it. But I want to show you guys the application and I am going to do a full day wear test, including a workout. I'm going to start with my primer and I'm going to use my Becca Skin Love primer. Y'all know I use this for almost every, I think I've used it for every single foundation review that I've done. And I feel like it just makes it easier because we're comparing apples to apples. I don't have to worry about, oh, did this not work because I used something else this time. So just makes it easier to have everything be the same. So while we let that sit, I'm gonna read a little bit about the foundation to you, tell you the claims and the price. This is the JCAT Beauty Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation. This again is what the packaging looks like. It is a plastic component, which I actually don't mind at all, especially if I'm gonna use it for traveling. It does come with a pump and sorry, mine is dirty. Just a standard plastic pump, but either way, good that we have a pump. This does retail for $14.99 on Ulta's website. It says JCAT Beauty Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation is a weightless buildable Korea made liquid foundation that contains key ingredients such as tea tree leaf extract to help reduce scarring and calms inflamed skin while panthenol hydrates skin smooths and soften y'all they got typos <laughs> i can read there are typos in here hyaluronic acid will help plump the skin while blurs out any imperfection i'm reading this like it's written and hydrolyzed collagen promotes anti-aging and healthy skin this long-lasting foundation delivers luminous natural glow leaving the skin feeling silky and smooth so for me, I liked that it said that it is a Korean made liquid foundation because I don't try a lot of K-Beauty products. Also, of course, hydrating also says it helps to reduce scarring, which not sure how that happens, but I'm here for it. And then of course, luminous natural glow. So this just says use a spon sponge or a foundation brush. And it says that it is buildable. So it comes in 16 shades. I have the shade Sweet Cocoa, which is the second to last shade on Ulta's website. The next darkest is called Royal Bon Bon. So not the best in terms of shade range, but I mean, most of these smaller brands don't have that many shades. So this I think is going to be a little dark for me. <laughs> What's new? But I do like the undertone of it. It is more of a neutral. So I'm excited about that. So I think we're going to start with just one pump. So this is what the foundation looks like. It is a little runny, not bad. 
and I'm gonna start mainly, y'all know, in my problem areas. And then we'll build where we need to. So I'm gonna start with this Morphe brush that I got when I bought their new blurring foundation. And I'm just going to start by stippling to get full coverage or as much coverage as I can, I should say. So right off the bat, I definitely feel like this is a good medium coverage, like definitely luminous. You do see that my skin has a little bit of a glow to it, but I, it dries down a little bit so it doesn't stay this luminous. As far as this coverage, I like this coverage. Now this would be like going to work, just want to even out my skin tone don't need it to be perfect like this is good and this is one pump this gives more coverage than some of my higher end foundations so that's why i say like we love to think that you got to spend a lot of money on something for it to be good but that's not always the case a lot of times with high-end products you're paying for packaging you're also paying maybe you know it might have some skincare in it you're paying for the name brand so just keep that in mind that's not gonna stop me from using my high-end stuff because i just i like it but if you are on a budget do not think that you can't get beautiful long-lasting looks so this is the first layer and i mean guys i don't feel like i need more i am gonna put another layer just to show you guys how it builds up but i mean i think this looks good So again, mainly concentrating this on the areas that I need the most coverage. I don't necessarily, I feel like it kind of blurs my pores a little bit and I know it'll look better when it dries down, but I just feel like it kind of helps smooth everything out. I definitely didn't need a whole nother pump did not but I like that you know yeah it's a little dark but I like that it doesn't turn like super orange or red or the color doesn't you know the color doesn't change as you apply more I feel like sometimes with other foundations that say they're buildable the more you put on the more you see like the undertone versus the actual foundation shade if that makes any sense so this is where we are i'm gonna just go over it with my colored rain sponge just a little bit i just like to do this sometimes because i feel like it helps to just press everything into the skin a little bit better but this is where we're starting with the application it is currently getting y'all in early today so we're gonna have a long wear test 927 this is where we're starting. I like the finish of this. I like how it looks. I like the shade of it. Don't come for me about my shades, guys. We already know Barbara likes to think she's darker than she really is. Um, but yeah, like the coverage. I think this is perfect coverage. If, I mean, I don't feel like there's anything that's not covered. I guess maybe I could color correct a little bit if I needed to, but I don't feel like I need to. Here it is. $14.99 J-Cat, let me get this long name again, Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back, let you see how everything wears and y'all know how I do. I'm gonna check in again this afternoon before the gym and then I'm gonna check in tonight to show you what it looks like and give you my final thoughts. All right guys, this is it for the final face. As you can see, I took my time and I played in some makeup. I did film this eyeshadow look. I absolutely love it. And you guys will see in another video what I used to get this look. So right now it is, <laughs> somebody's been playing for a while. It's 11 o'clock. So I've had this foundation on for almost two hours already. I finished, I didn't set my face. I haven't used a setting spray. 
I used my Laura Mercier setting powder under my eyes and then I used my Tarte concealer for under my eyes as well and to highlight so those all played well together like I said this has definitely set down so I didn't put any powder you can see a little tiny bit down here is just the foundation of a sheen but it's not anything like not a sheen but just it's not flat by any means but it is definitely set and I feel like it is going to stay so I'm happy about that but that is it so far for the look I'm going to check in with you guys a little while later before the gym like I said and then when I get back but this is where we're starting I love how this looks I do feel like it definitely has some blurring properties but it might also be from this cover fx face powder I used a little bit of this in this area here my face feels matte it feels dry so let me just go ahead and use a little bit of setting spray I have my makeup forever mist and fix I usually use this just to put for my eyeshadows, but this is what I have. Check this Mr. Lord. Oh, just to help with some of the powderiness and the dryness I was feeling. Yeah, I like how that looks better already, but we're going to let the foundation sit, do its thing. I'm going to go do some stuff and I will check in with you guys later. All right, guys, so I went to do my first check-in for you. It is currently 2.12. So we have had the foundation on for, what, five hours? Yeah, about five hours. So I think everything still looks good. I don't see a lot of settling. And I have been talking, moving around a little bit. I feel like I did spray it with my all-nighter spray. Mainly because that's what I normally do when I want my face to last longer. And since I'm going to work out later, I wanted to give it a fair shot. But this is what we have so far. I love how this looks. Like this is not drying down too matte. I don't feel cakey. I will say it does feel like I have foundation on my face. But at the same time, I used two pumps and I don't think I needed to. So I just feel like my face looks flawless which is insane. Everything is still beaming, glowing. We are looking good. So I'm going to check back in with you guys tonight after my workout and let you see how it holds up because it's a little warm here. So I'm probably going to sweat, have to do deadlifts. That's a lot of work. So we will see. I'll keep you posted. I'll check back in later. We are back. It is 10 o'clock, basically. 10 o'clock just got home I ate dinner I'm ready to get this off my face because I'm tired but y'all I'm gonna move closer scoop my chair up move closer because you have to see what this looks like I know I have a little cracking on my forehead that is all the time nothing new this literally looks just as good as when I applied it in saying like even at the gym I would just kept looking at myself like it's not coming off it's not moving it hasn't separated I was sweating look at my face $15 foundation I have no words this is gorgeous I love the tone I think it matches well I didn't expect this from J-Cat Beauty, but they did the damn thing. This looks so good. This might, is this gonna replace my hard candy? I don't know, because the hard candy is a little matte and this one is not as drying. I just keep looking at it. Anyway, it has been over 12 hours. Y'all saw the before. Roll back the video if you need to, but this is where we are finishing. This is what it looks like. Absolutely love it. I think it looks beautiful. It has held up all day. I will even insert a clip of my deadlifts. Your girl was working. Come on. Mm. Six. Come yes. on. Come on. You almost there? Yeah. Come on. 
Go stairs. Seven. Come on, Bobby. Eight. Yeah. Two more. Two more. Keep it tight. Nine. Last one. Come on. Come on. One more. Squeeze it through. If you can find your shade in this, go pick it up. I cannot stress it enough. Proof is right here on my face. On my face. Go get yours. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, stick around, hit that subscribe button and join the family. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.